at another problem, and this time we might have a really, really weird shape. So find the volume of a region whose base is bound by the region, uh, bound by y equals square root of x and y equals x squared, with the leg of isosceles triangles cross sections running along the y axis. So one leg instead of uh, the hypotenuse. So we have to read carefully so we get the right setup. Well, let's graph this. Look here. <clears throat> okay, so y equals root x. Well, let's see here. Root x is going to be something like this. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and draw y equals x squared first. So y equals x squared. And of course, it comes on this side too. It's perfectly symmetrical about the y-axis. And root x. So root x is going to be something like this. But let's go ahead and draw this. Let's go ahead and draw this shape differently because we see that this is very small and sort of confusing to look at. So let's go ahead and expand this entire region over here. So when you're drawing your shapes, you want to draw the best shape to help you see what's going on. So let's go ahead and draw a shape to help us see what's going on. Okay, so let's say this is our one. So you know that both the parabola as well as the root cross this. So it's the area bound by this region. And this is not a circle. This is not uh, just two straight lines. But we can treat them as uh, the same uh, because they're just mathematical equations. But the setup is the exact same. So we have a leg of the isosceles triangle running along the y-axis. So just one leg. So our triangle is going to look somewhat like this with the right angle right there. And these are the sides, and they are equal. So this, this is the shape with the infinitesimally small thickness. So here's our thickness. OK, so uh, once again, let's go find a relationship between this shape and this base. So we have area equals 1 half base times height. So base times height, so s squared. Well, s, in this case, equals the region bound by here, because it's this length defined by this graph and this graph. So we know that this graph is square root of x, and this is x squared. So we have s equals square root of x minus x squared. So we have to find the integral from this to here, so 0 to 1. So let's set up our volume. Volume equals from 0 to 1, 1 half s squared. So this shape might seem, look, might seem more complicated, but in reality, it's actually very, very simple because we don't really care about any of the details within each uh, line, each equation. But what we do care about is, a, is the setup as a whole. So these only play a small part because they only just go in the integral. So if we replace this by variable a, root x by variable a, and root x squared by variable b, we just get 1 half a minus b squared dx. And of course, uh, these a, this a and b is just here to show you that this is actually a very, very simple setup. So if we dilute this even more, we'll get 1 half s squared. So you see, it's just a progression. Uh, 
of setting something up that's very basic and then going deeper and deeper until we have variables in terms of x so then we solve, solve the integral. So here's our final setup. And just keep in mind the big picture and focus on the details little by little. Thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next